In this video, we will show you how to work with SSH timeout. By default, there's no timeout set in the SSH configuration file, which enables the session to be logged in for the maximum amount of time. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're using the Ubuntu environment, and we'll add the commands for SSH timeout in the configuration file here only. First of all, let's open up the sshd underscore config file in the graphical editor. Now let's insert the client alive interval command over here and specify the number of seconds we want to set for the timeout. Let's specify 25 seconds for now, and just beneath that, let's add a command that will allow the session to be terminated after the 25 seconds in case of no activity. For that, we will use the client alive count max command and specify the value to zero. With that done, save the file and then restart the host services by typing service space ssh space restart in the terminal. Now let's log into the server once more and wait for 25 seconds to see whether the session times out or not. And there you have it. The session has been terminated automatically after 25 seconds, which means that the feature has been enabled in the SSH configuration file successfully.